All right, guys, I got a little bit of a different project for you. It's, uh, it's a development project. Now, the guy that's doing these heads, he's actually a past NHRA world champion drag racer. And he's an Oldsmobile guy. So, what he wanted to do is make some old heads. Now, I've been helping him on this project for a while now. And it got to the point the other night, I'm like, you know what? Just send me a head. I don't care if it's a junk head. I don't care what it is. So this is actually one of the first heads he had cast. It was CNC'd. Okay. We've only got seats and guides in two, an outside and an inside. And if you know old stuff, they're, you know... They're Siamese this way, but they come into the the bore on a different angle. Sorry if I if I sound like an idiot, guys. I'm completely cooked. I spent the entire day in the sun. I'm completely dehydrated, and uh, I got a very rough day ahead of me tomorrow. And uh, but I did want to pop a video, even if it's only a couple minutes, showing you this. Him and I, we discussed uh, shapes and so forth, and uh, he wasn't able to do air speeds. I explained to him how you can do air speeds relatively easy with a pitot and a, a water manometer, but he wasn't interested. So I said, you know what, just send it to me. I've got my new bore adapters. I'll drill them out so uh, we can get it the right size bore. These are set up for a 4.375 inch bore. Okay, not small block stuff. These, And these are actually the street design. I actually had the mark on it, street head, because, you know, I get carried away, right? It's an interesting design. Some of the uh, interesting facts on the old is, uh, take a look at how low that chamber is. It's only six degrees. Six. Okay? It makes your turn much more difficult. Yes, he's got, he's got all kinds of filler and stuff inside the port because he was working on, on the flow bench and he would fill and change and remove. And uh, that's one way to do it, right? Because this is going to be the model for the CNC. So uh, there's a special word for that. I forget what it is. Okay, you can see how tall the short side radius is, and it needs a real tall short side radius because the port is so bent. It literally is like a 90 degree bend. Okay, and what I see is it'll be interesting when I put it on the bench and get some airspeed numbers. But it's also interesting, the ports are shaped quite a bit differently. Let's put a light on this one. Now, the owner of this, these heads have uh, a pretty high-end engine program. And when he did all the flows and everything, he ran both intake ports through the program. And the inner port made more power. But you can see this, this push rod um, radius there is much steeper than this one. And I'm willing to bet that this is the longer port. I can't CC them because he used literally used body filler on it. And uh, the body filler will soak up the water and fall apart. So he doesn't want me to CC them. But uh, it'll be a fun little it'll be a fun little project. And I gotta bang these out relatively quick, so I think everything else is gonna go on the, the back burner until I can get some air speeds and take a little metal off here and there, or maybe add, add some, uh, I don't have body filler, but I have some epoxy. I may do a lot of stuff just with clay. <laughs> street head. I had to write street head on it to remind myself. And he said, don't touch the push rods. These push rods are the way they're going to be. End of story. I can't touch them. I can touch everything else, though. Okay, on this view, you can see it's a generous port. It's, it's relatively big for a street head. 
but it's also designed for like a 500 cubic inch street motor. So it's going to need to move some air. Now this port at one point was much taller and then filled in to be the stock uh, intake manifold position. Part of the, the idea is to have it so stock intakes and exhausts will bolt up so more people can use it because there's only, there's only X number of old guys out in the world to begin with, right? So it has to be something most guys can use. And it's funny, I asked him about, uh, there was another brand of Olds Heads. Can't think of it, sorry guys. And he's like, yeah, the guy stole my design. How unusual. <laughs> I don't know, some people, I got, they got, uh, not cool. Not cool at all. All right, the exhausts are nice and deep. And they're going to have a tall short side radius too because, you know, it's very flat valve angle. And the old uh, exhaust port exits are very low on the head. They're only about three quarters of an inch off the deck, maybe an inch. Okay, he's got a D-shape on it. You can see it wasn't always a D-shape, but he probably did some work to it. And it improved with a D-shape. So we're going to probably keep that shape because he's already done the work to that. Now, as far as the height of the short side and the air speeds across the short side, I may do a little work to that. I mean, I can already see where I think uh, gains could be made. I don't know if these exhausts are exactly the same. I can't really see in my state whether they're... Uh, the same or different. Okay, just give you a quick look in and out of the ones that are CNC'd. As of right this minute, they're set up for a 2.25 intake and a 1.75 exhaust, but that's going to actually be shrunk down, but I can't do any testing with a, I think he said he's going to use a 219. I can't do any testing because the seats are already cut for 2.25, and that's the size valve he sent to me. So we'll see how we do with what we've got, and uh, we'll move on from there. Okay, let's see if we can get a decent view of that short side. Sheesh. Okay, the short side really doesn't look bad, but it is tall. And just like a big block Chevy, since they're coming in a different angle, that shape of that short side radius is going to be different from one, one uh, port to the other port. Okay, now those probably aren't perfect, but that gives you an idea of which way those ports are bent and how they are shaped. Now, the outer one looks like it has a better shape, right, than this one. See, this has got this big arc here. But this is the one that makes more power on the program. It also matters which way it dumps into the chamber. Now, on a big block Chevy, this port would be considered the good port because it would flow more because it empties towards the center of the cylinder. All right, and this would be more like the bad port because it, it's aimed more at the shrouded wall. Now, what's interesting on a big block Chevy is this port doesn't flow as well, but it's got a better burn due to the fuel hitting that shrouded wall. Now, that's probably part of the reason that LS stuff is now all shaped that way, right? Which is really the uh, small block Ford design and the uh, big block Ford design, right? The port is curved and aimed towards the wall. Interesting, right guys? So, now do I have a problem with having two different ports on the same engine? 
Not even a little bit. Now, the point is to get both designs as efficient as you can for the size. And I will be doing a little bit of work on these. And uh, he said it was okay for me to video it. And uh, that way he, he gets a record of exactly what I'm doing. And uh, you guys get to see it. And then when they finally go into production, you can let them know you won't need a set. All right, guys. Happy 4th of July weekend, right? Oof. Could use a break. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.